Good morning and welcome to day two in our Valiant Lady series, our first full day on the cruise ship, where today we are heading to Nassau in the Bahamas. It is a very early morning, so apologies for anything that's going on here. We have an excursion booked and we do have to meet at the dock, I think it's like at 8 in the morning or 8.30, something around there. And we decided, because we knew it was going to be such a long day yesterday and a very early morning today, we decided to go ahead and have a, um, a delivery for breakfast. So on Virgin Voyages, your room service is included and it's called Ship Eats. So we ordered a little Ship Eats for breakfast. And we also ran to the Grounds Club this morning because you could not order any iced coffee. So we added iced hazelnut coffee. Um, because we are deep blue, which is like their status with Virgin, we have free premium coffee up to like $15 per day. So that was in included as well. One thing that we found to be kind of weird is that they did put the salmon in with the French toast, which um, there's like syrup. You can kind of see the syrup at the bottom. Um, and just an interesting choice. With sausage, it's not a big deal because that's tasty. But with the salmon, I think that is a little bit of a choice, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna eat up our breakfast and then head down for our excursion. Verdict on breakfast, the Nutella stuffed French toast was absolutely fantastic. It's a huge portion, I could only eat half of it. Um, sausage was good. The salmon was actually pretty good uh, with like the maple syrup, like a sweet salmon's not bad. The only thing that was weird is like, it left like kind of like a fishy taste on one of the pieces of French toast, which was like not great. I think they should probably just put the salmon on a separate plate. Um, and I tried some of the eggs. The eggs were like not that great. The eggs didn't really have much flavor. Kind of like that fake tasting like carton of eggs is kind of what I assume that they use. Um, not the best scrambled egg, but that's okay. We are almost to Nassau and we are gonna head out to our excursion soon. And as we finish breakfast, it looks like the uh, pilot has showed up and it looks like we are just a few minutes away from docking in Nassau. And it looks like it's shaping up to be an absolute beautiful day. I think we're mostly excursion ready. Got our swimsuits on, I got a little swim t-shirt on to protect us from the UV rays. Looks like we're about to pull into Nassau. And so today's excursion, we are doing Escape to Pearl Island Beach. And the description says that we are going to be taken to two different um, little private beach areas. There's gonna be water activities like paddle boarding and kayaking and snorkeling, all of those fun things that you can do on the beach. And then we will get served a bohemian barbecue lunch. And then it's kind of like just like free time on the beach. It's about five hours long. And we did pay about $130. So Nassau is known for being quite expensive. And I know a lot of people just prefer to kind of stay on the ship. Um, there's a lot of, you know, cruises that do come here. So you kind of do like one or two excursions and then usually use it as like a ship day when it's a little less crowded. But I'm excited to try something new and I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth that $130 price tag because it is the most expensive excursion that we purchased for this cruise. The beautiful sights of Nassau. the pilot who's been guiding us in. Looks like they must have known Cruise and Coasters was coming because they have a uh, little carnival fair set up. And I think I do see a Larson Loop. It's like a drop tower, little Ferris wheel, a couple other fair rides. Don't think we're gonna get to that today. Finally found our excursion. It was a little disorganized, a little chaotic mess this morning. They told us to find flag four. We found flag four and she's like, oh no, this isn't you. This is a totally different excursion. Go find the guy in the yellow t-shirt. So we finally joined the line. We got our wristbands, we're good to go. So we have our, I have so many wristbands now, but I have my Pearl Island wristband and we are getting ready to head to the island and let's go check it out. I'm excited, it's very windy, kind of chilly, but it is supposed to warm up today. So hopefully it shapes up to be a really nice beach day.
about a 45 minute boat ride. We haven't made it to Pearl Island. We did have some trouble um, docking the boat at Pearl Island because the winds are so strong and chaotic. We actually missed the dock quite a few times, but um, about an hour later, we are here and the entire island, I guess, is at our leisure, she said, and we can go to, there's two different beaches. There's a restaurant, um, bathrooms, kayaking, paddle boarding, a lot of water activities. So yeah, let's go see what we can find to do here at uh, Pearl Island. It looks really beautiful. Um, it's a really nice temperature out. The sun is out, the skies are blue, a little windy, but that's okay. It keeps things a little bit cooler. Um, so yeah, let's go see what we can find to do at Pearl Island. We made it to the second beach. We went to the further one. Um, this is the size of it. So when you're booking, I guess adjust your expectations because I was thinking a much, much bigger beach. Also, all of the chairs that you can use are not really on the beach. They're kind of on like a ledge above it that kind of overlook. So that's interesting. Not really what I expected. A little different. Yeah, really a uh, tiny beach. It is, it is really pretty. Just a lot smaller than I had expected. Once we did get here, we got here around 10 a.m. And we have to be back on the smaller ship at 1.30 for them to take us back to the Valiant Lady. So we're getting about three and a half hours here. Um, so I know the excursion is listed, I think as like five or six hours, but no, that does include like your lineup and transit time. The full excursion time seems to be about three, three and a half hours from the time that we got here. water is absolutely freezing but that's what you get for going on a cruise in January you get beautiful weather but very very cold water um, but it is beautiful it's so relaxing just hearing the sounds of the waves and the wind it's really nice uh, we're gonna go find some adult beverages because rumor has it those are included and yeah just kind of relax and enjoy the sound of the ocean included in our excursion are alcoholic uh, beverages so adult bevies are included what's interesting is there are other ships on the island and you have to show them your virgin wristband and then they should be able to give you the adult beverages so you got a little rum punch and enjoying it with this beach view we're doing some exploring of the island and we found they have like this little pool area but it's definitely not very clean like i hope it comes through on the camera it's very not what i'd want to relax in it's also very cold uh, just like the ocean water. I'm sure it's just ocean water pumped in, but man, it's freezing. And yeah, I wish it was a little cleaner because it's not very uh, enticing to spend some time in here. It's definitely gotten a lot more gray since I last talked to you guys. It's a very windy and gray day today. One of the attractions that we found here at Pearl Island that we can explore is this little lighthouse. So that is where we're in right now. We're gonna take some stairs up uh, to the top of the lighthouse and see if we get some views of the island from up top. It's very windy, even on the ground, so I'm sure up there it's probably crazy right now. So this is the entrance of the lighthouse that we're in right now. They have some windows you can see outside and see how crazy the waves are today. Shall we uh, go upstairs? These are tall steps. Oh yeah, we could have to bring our lunch here and eat it. <laughs> so some very steep and tall steps. You gotta watch your head. And we made it. Distance, you can see the Atlantis Resort, 
We want to check out the uh, water park that's there, but we knew the weather wasn't going to be amazing for it. And it was also like over $200 per person for a few hours at a water park, which seemed insane. But let us know in the comments if you guys ever want us to check out like a water park option in Nassau. Give us an excuse to go check it out and see what it's like. It's a really pretty view though up here. It's really nice. 11.30 means it is now lunchtime and our lunch is included today. I'll give you guys a quick tour of what we are eating here at Pearl Island. We have a rice mixture, a battered fish, chicken, like barbecue chicken, and then uh, like a steamed mixed vegetable with some seasoning on it. So uh, no choice or options or anything. This is just the plate that you get. Um, I'm not sure about like vegan or vegetarian options, to be honest. You'll definitely have to check if you're interested in that when you book the excursion. But yeah, looks pretty tasty. Took about five, 10 minutes in line and got our plate. So time to eat up. All right, let's talk about this excursion. So we finished up lunch. It was okay. The chicken was pretty good. The vegetables were well seasoned. The rice was, it was rice. There was nothing exciting about it. The fish was pretty good too. Um, overall, again, we spent $130 per person. So $260 total for today for basically what ended up being about three, three and a half hours at um, this Pearl Island beach getaway. I think with like the food and the drinks that were included, by the way, we found out there are three drinks that we were allowed to have, like a rum punch, a margarita, and then something else. And they were like very watery, sugary drinks that really didn't contain much, if any, alcohol in them. Um, so don't know if that really counts. Um, but yeah, with the limited amount of activities that they had here, the amount of people that they allowed onto the island, the quality of food and drinks, on a scale of one digit, five, can't miss it, I'm gonna give it a two. I think maybe if you had better weather and like the water was a little bit warmer, you probably would enjoy this a lot more. I think in the off season, the water's just too cold to really jump in and enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I just think that there probably are better options. Um, to go to so I'm excited next time we come to Nassau maybe try something a little different kind of compare this I'm also excited to try the beach resort that we booked in Grand Turk in just a couple of days to see how this one compares to that because that one has some really really good reviews so yeah um, overall I think next time we'll probably skip uh, Pearl Island but you know lesson learned we have to try it all to see exactly what it is that we like so if you've ever been to Pearl Island let me know in the comments let me know what you guys think about it so uh, we're gonna finish up the last few like maybe 20 minutes here, just kind of relax in front of the ocean, and then we'll uh, make our way back to the ship for the rest of our day. back on the ship after our excursion and showered up, freshened up. My gosh, I love that shower so much. It is so nice. The rainfall uh, shower head is fantastic. And then we stopped off at the pizza place, which is the ship's pizza place on board. We didn't film when we went because we were charging up the camera, um, but we did get some pizza. So let's show you the pizza we got. This is the pretty fly for a white pie but we added pepperoni to it. The pretty fly for a white pie is fantastic. I usually add sausage to mine, but I guess they are all out of sausage. And they had a pizza of the day, which was a barbecue chicken pizza, and it looks like it has some onion on it. Um, looks delicious, and we are going to enjoy this snack while we enjoy the final views of Nassau here in the Bahamas. Looks like uh, we're leaving Nassau. Bye, Nassau. We've decided since we don't have a show tonight and we have a little bit of a later dinner at Razzle Dazzle. Wow, the lighting went crazy. <laughs> um, dinner's not until I think 8.30, 8.45. So we're gonna go see the hostess sings her secrets right now and kind of see what, what that's about. So that sounds kind of interesting. So come along with us. As we were passing through, I could not resist a little ice cream treat from Lick Me Till Ice Cream. I got espresso chip in a red velvet cone. Mm. And it is 
delicious. A really strong espresso flavor, but really, really tasty. Oh my gosh, that's really good. First impressions are everything. Show your guests you mean business by making a powerful entrance. Confidence is key. Bring your best authentic self and remember to smell good enough to eat. Dress the part by donning only the highest heel, the boldest slip and that show-stopping dress. Now, take a good hard look in that mirror and if you would do you then down that 1972 chateau margot from the south of france and darling you are ready to go mirror mirror on the wall don't shake because you know i'm cute louis down to my drawers lv all on my shoulders what an absolutely phenomenal show. Oh my God, the hostess is so talented and the singing on it was incredible. It was like 1920s, 30s jazz interpretations of like pop hits from like different queens like Taylor, Christina, Lizzo. It was absolutely amazing, so much fun. Um, I put some clips in there because we did ask if we could film and they said sure as long as we had no um, flash photography or flash videography it was totally fine. At one point someone came over and was like hey you can't record the show and I was like oh okay no problem put the camera away and then the hostess made it a point I think she saw like what happened and the hostess came like over the mic and was like hey you guys can totally take pictures and videos as long as there's no flash photography feel free to like tag me because I love to see it after. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I pulled out the camera again, recorded a couple more songs. Then they came over and they're like, oh, she shouldn't have said that. You actually can't be recording anything that's on the show, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I did reach out to Virgin ahead of time, by the way, um, and try to get some of their like filming policy information on like shows specifically for that reason. Um, I did email twice and I never got a response back. So a um, little confusing there, but the show was amazing. Definitely worth watching. It was called The Hostess Sings Her Songs and highly recommend if it's on your cruise because the voice on the hostess was absolutely phenomenal. Um, we're gonna head to Razzle Dazzle for lunch, or um, no, it's dinner. We're gonna head to Razzle Dazzle for dinner, and that should round out our uh, first day, first full day aboard the Valiant Lady. Let's go have some dinner, even though I am not hungry at all. Made it to Razzle Dazzle, and Razzle Dazzle is this like black and white striped, you can see the ship here, it's like black and white stripes, and that's because in the First World War, they used to deck out their ships and paint them in black and white stripes to help camouflage them. So this is kind of playing homage and kind of like playing into that theme. So let's head on into Razzle Dazzle. Tonight's menu at Razzle Dazzle. If you didn't know, Razzle Dazzle is a very veggie, vegetarian, and vegan forward restaurant. And the items are that are in red, those are naughty items. And those do contain some type of meat or animal product. But anything in black is gonna be vegetarian or vegan for you. I am starting off my Razzle Dazzle meal with a Greek goddess salad, which is, I believe, fully vegan. Very exciting. It looks incredible. That presentation looks absolutely stunning. And Josh went with the, is it tuna tartare? Yellowfish. Yellowfish tartare, which e looks equally as amazing. All right. Oh, and I also got a naughty nectar drink, which is absolutely delicious. Very tropical, fun, and fruity. The salad was super refreshing and light, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, the green goddess dressing was really tasty, full of flavor. And the um, yellowfish tartare that Josh got was really tasty, really light fish flavor. It was really good. It had like these little radish squares built into it, so you got like a little crunch with it every time. So good. Um, I think I mentioned before, Razzle Dazzle's menu completely changed from when we went out the first time, and so far, I'm very impressed. Like the whole vibe of the restaurant just seems very different from the first time that we sailed on Scarlet Lady and I think it's for the better because it ended up being one of our not favorite restaurants and so far this is a big improvement. Main course is here and I got the short rib pastrami that looks phenomenal again 10 out of 10 on their plating. We did a Nashville hot cauliflower kind of to share the 
server told us that this is one of her favorite dishes, so we're gonna try it as like a little shareable, little like entree thing. And then Josh went with the lamb shank, which looks equally as amazing. Wow, this menu has really transformed, and I think for the better. I'm interrupting dinner to confirm that the Nashville hot cauliflower is absolutely spectacular and has been probably the favorite thing I've eaten on the ship so far. They are super crispy, full of flavor. They're not like mushy cauliflower, it's very solid. Like it, you would not even be able to know like that it wasn't chicken. And they, there's a really good heat to it. Like there is definitely a kick. So if you don't like spicy things, probably not for you. But if you like spicy hot food, oh my gosh, it's absolutely, oh, it's incredible. That, I'm so glad we got that to share. You should definitely at least try it if you're coming to Razzle Dazzle. Try the Nashville hot cauliflower. Spectacular choice. So thankful our server recommended that for us. The pastrami dish was also absolutely phenomenal. It was moist, tender, delicious, packed and full with flavor, everything you wanted it to be. Oh my gosh, it was and it, like the complement with the heat of the cauliflower bites were just absolute perfection. Loved it so much. And the dipping sauce, I cannot stop talking about the cauliflower, I'm sorry, but the dipping sauce was so good and it was, it's vegan, which is so crazy. It's so, so tasty. I absolutely loved it. I think that Virgin has some of the best food at sea and this menu was originally maybe like it was still good when we were on it the first time, but it never really like had any like shining elements to it. But like this is like turning into one of my favorite menus on any cruise ship ever. I really, really love this rejuvenated menu and the new life they're putting into Razzle Dazzle. Quick overview of the dessert menu. You have like four options, the creme brulee, dark s'mores, brown sugar baked pears, and the rum apple cake. Dessert has arrived and I went with the brown sugar pears and has like some phyllo dough on top that looks really good. We did get a creme brulee based on the server suggestion and since she was so correct with the main dishes, we went with uh, getting one for the table to kind of try and split. And then Josh went with the apple crumb cake, which looks, that's a really fun presentation. Yeah. But yeah, like the phyllo dough is really cool and then the pears are underneath there. Yeah. We're interrupting dessert to tell you about the creme brulee. So the creme brulee, interestingly, is a smoked creme brulee, so it has like that smokiness flavor to it. And it, I normally actually don't like creme brulee, and this one is really good. The texture is not eggy at all. The taste isn't eggy. It's super sweet, but like light and almost like spongy. And that flavor, like that smokiness of how it's cooked is so, it just adds so much flavor to it and just, wow. It is really over the top and just absolutely phenomenal. I'm really glad we tried this too. Our server is on point with her suggestion. So when you come to Razzle Dazzle, either listen to me or listen to your server because they know what they're doing. These elevators are such a vibe. Oh, look at the little jellyfish. Oh, they're all jellyfish. <laughs> How fun is that? While I do love the elevator, like, TV screens and everything. It does make the, I, I'm, my theory is that that's why the elevators are so hot is because it's using all those like extra lights and projections and that kind of stuff. And the elevator is like significantly hotter than the rest of the ship. Plus you get a bunch of people crowding in there. Um, so they need to add a little bit more AC for me. Thank you. What a fun first day we've had here on the Valiant Lady. We had a Okay, we had a good time in Nassau. We're not gonna say great time. We had a good time in Nassau. Don't recommend that shore excursion. I would not do that one again. But once we got back on the ship, we had an absolutely fantastic time. Ate some great pizza. We watched Jurassic Park and took a little bit of a nap. We watched us sail away. And then we saw the incredible show with the hostess. That was amazing. And then we had a phenomenal dinner over at Russell Dazzle. And this was just night two of the cruise. So we have Plenty more vlogs coming up. Tomorrow is going to be a sea day, and I'm really excited to show you guys the activities that they have around the ship. So I know we're doing a spin class tomorrow morning. It's all about detox and then retox here on Virgin. So we've had a few drinks tonight. We went a little crazy with three desserts, and we're gonna work some of that off tomorrow and do a little bit of a cycle class before we go to brunch and get unlimited mimosa. So that'll be coming up in the next vlog. But if you guys have liked this video, please give the video a like. It really helps against that YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you want to see more cruise content like this and keep cruising and coasting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.